So hi, my name is Joe Brewer, and this is my video for the Shuttleworth Fel uh, Fellowship application process. The project that I'm proposing to do is to create a research center on culture design. Now, to give a little bit of uh, global context for this, as you're probably well aware, there are a number of converging systemic challenges confronting humanity in the world today. So we have the global ecological crisis, we have massive inequality and poverty, we have uh, rigged financial systems, uh, there's a lot of propaganda and manipulation of public opinion, there's money interest in politics, you know, there are a whole set of systemic issues. And one of the challenges that makes it difficult to address all of those issues is to have an integrated and well-synthesized understanding of how cultural systems change in time. So I've been working for more than 15 years on a number of different projects, as you'll see in my resume, to bring together all of the different sciences that study cultural change and bring them under, under one umbrella. And I'm calling this work culture design. So the design of culture is seeking to intentionally change the trajectory of civilization. And right now, um, with the convergence of systemic crises in the world, uh, the human civilization that we are living in is, um, to put it mildly, it's at jeopardy. Our prospects for making it through the uh, resource scarcity, the ecological crises, the various social uh, um, issues we have with governance, openness, and accountability, we're not solving any of those things quickly enough. And if we're going to have a thriving, complex civilization in 100 years from now, we will only get there if we do it by design. So basically, here's the very specific thing that I'm proposing to do. I want to create a research center affiliated with a university that begins to bring together the different fields of research from three key areas. Those three key areas are complexity science, uh, so this is the study of nonlinear adaptive systems, phase transitions, emergent phenomena, network science, a host of related things, like what you would see done at the work of the Santa Fe Institute. The second one is cognitive, uh, be, be, cognitive science and cultural evolution together, which is looking at the way that the human mind works through the lenses of psychology, anthropology, linguistics, computer science, and other related areas, and cultural evolution looking at the evolutionary history of human social nature, the group dynamics of humans, how that applies to organizational development, to marketing and communications, to storytelling, to a whole host of areas. So uh, these are the first two. So uh, the third one is global change. Global change being really an earth system science perspective, looking at how climate is changing, how the global biosphere is changing, how the complexity of human systems is changing. So these are all areas where a great deal of research is done in a reductionist disciplinary manner at the present moment. There are actually hundreds of research fields looking at different pieces of this problem, but none of them are focused specifically on bringing together all of the pieces that are necessary to guide civilization through the transition to sustainability. And this is a global research capability that is needed to both study the patterns of culture and how those patterns of culture are arising and how they're changing, and also to guide them through effective policy tools. And those policy tools can be governmental, like um, taxation and regulation and those sorts of things that are familiar, but they also can be in terms of decision-making structures, which gets into the world of social entrepreneurship, innovative business models, disruptive social technologies, which could be computer technology or ways of group facilitation or storytelling, transmedia experiences, a variety of ways this can come through. But as I said earlier in this, um, all of this knowledge in the hundreds of different fields looking at this problem are disparate from each other. The institutions of society from which they came in business, government, and academia are all siloed and separate from each other, and there's a great need for synthesis. So if I win this, if you award me this fellowship, what I will do is convene a conference. Uh, you could think of it as like a three-day workshop of the leading scholars and practitioners in the field of culture design to map out the landscape of best practice and deep knowledge across the different fields of knowledge that are in the academic world as well as in design practice, and then begin to build an institutional capacity for researching things like how do we achieve 
peace in a world that is troubled by resource scarcity? How do we keep dictators from arising and fear-based approaches from winning out in our political struggles? How do we reduce the amount of chronic inequality in the world and create a more vibrant innovation capacity and resilience in our infrastructure? These core issues that will only be achieved by bringing together all the pieces. So that's what I'm setting out to do. Uh, and I've already made a lot of headway, have a number of strategic partnerships, a global network of collaborators. And what I'm needing now is the financial resources to convene the meetings and begin building the nonprofit research organization that will deliver these goals and these results. So that's it. Thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to hearing back from you.